in here. Hope everybody's having a good day. Whoever sees this before they come in. <laughs> if this is a replay. I'm thinking maybe everybody's at work, but <laughs> it's okay. We'll see who joins. I just got off work myself. Hopefully I can use that as a thumbnail. <laughs> with my drink. Hi, Cindy. How are you? If I have any technical difficulties and my stuff falls, it's because I, I have it rigged right now. <laughs> okay, let me see. I'm going to put the live chat. Hi, Alma. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Walter. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Ooh, Karina, that is perfect timing, girl. Yes. Hello, B. Williams. Hi, Michael. So today I got some Cafe Rio. I don't know if you guys tried it before, but this is my first time. Um, I just got off work, and I haven't ate anything. I, I was snacking on some um, sunflower seeds, like the ones that are already in the trail mix thing. Let me see if I could auto lock. No, I can't. Hi, cuz. I'm going to try to read the comments as I see them. Um, because, yeah, my thing is rigged a little bit. But anyways, look at this big old tray that I got. Um, it's the salad from Cafe Rio. Hi, sweet Liz. Cousin, this is my first time trying it. So, on top is all the lettuce, I guess. And on the bottom of everything, they have the tortilla. Um, I ha I got the beans and rice, cheese. Um, and it comes with... Hi, C. Lopez. Um, and it comes with everything on the side. So, you could get your... I got the coje... coje what is it? Cojeta cheese. I got some guacamole. I'm about to put it on there right now. Some cilantro. Some pico de gallo. Some limes. The dressing. What dressing is good, cuz? I got the vinaigrette, the cilantro vinaigrette, or the tomatillo. Something. I don't know. I never tried that one. Hope you guys are having a good day. I just got off of work and um, I was like, I'm going to stop and get something to eat because I haven't ate nothing. Let me see what's in this jar. Hi, Melissa. Oh, these tortilla chips. All right. So I'm going to get my fork and I'm going to dig in. Put this together too. Cousin, so... I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like a talk, uh, thing. I just mix it in all together. This is packed. That looks bomb. Nothing like a person's salad. Yes, and it has like, I think you can make it into a burrito, to be honest. I don't know. I never heard of it. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go ahead and dress it up a little bit. Have you guys tried this before? It looks similar to like a... What is it? Chipotle? So we're going to see some fresh cilantro. A ver pues. this cheese stink sting like some patas we're gonna put a little bit of that 
What is that, like Parmesan cheese? We're gonna do a little bit of the tortilla chips. I wonder why they don't, they don't put it on for you. Cojeta, coteja, cotija. Love when you speak Spanish. <laughs> I try. Sticky cheese, you know, is good. <laughs> For real, right? Let's see. We're going to put some pico. Ooh, shoot. I don't want the juice. Ooh, this smells bomb. Look at that, y'all. Maybe so you can, but amount you desire. True. I love nacho chips in my salad. I was looking at their nachos, and their nachos look good. I was like, shoot, I didn't know which one to get. But I was like, I'm trying to watch my figure, but dang, I didn't know the salads are this too big. Right? It looks bomb. Hi, Britt. Hi, Crystal. Thank you, Antoinette. If I miss your comment, my bad. Just re redo it because um, I'm trying to put my, my salad together. Let's all give Aries a thumbs up on this video. Thank you, C. Lopez. This is the tomatillo. Crema, something, I'm gonna taste it. Mmm. It's pretty good. Ooh, look at that. Yes, baby. This all looks so good. Mmm. I love salads. Yes. <laughs> it is overflowing. My hands a little hurting. I'm getting a workout right now. I need my tray that I got. I'm going to tell Manuel today. I'm going to be like, you need to, you know, give me my tray. Put it together because let me try this one. Hi, Susie. Hi, Desi. Mm, this one's good, too. I'm about to put them both. Mmm. That one tastes like cilantro. All right. And then last but not least, we got the guacamole. This is a hookup. For $10, $11, oh, you can't beat this. You cannot beat this at all. And some lime. Woo! Hold on, y'all, I'm having trouble. This is more like a a feast for me, sure. Thank you, Desi. Ooh. I'm gonna try to, Walter. <laughs> That's how many toppings can you put on your salad? Right. How many toppings can you put on your salad? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dig in, y'all. I'm gonna give you guys uh, the first bite, but hold on. Let me mix it a little bit to get all that good stuff everywhere. Mm. 
-hmm. And the meats that they have there, um, they have like the chicken that's grilled. They have regular chicken that's shredded. They got um, barbacoa, shredded beef. Um, they had a couple of other ones. Ooh, I'm already about to drop everything. Yes. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Looks delicious. Popping into show of love. Busy at the moment. Take care. Thank you, Jessica. I'll talk to you later, girl. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take a bite, y'all. Ooh, they got that cilantro rice and those black beans. You see the rice right there? And the black beans. Mm. Mm -hmm. What did everybody have for lunch today? Nobody. <laughs> This is so good and refreshing. Look at the cilantro. Mm. Susie, I didn't know what I want. I was like, I do, I know, I know I want something healthy, but I was like, I don't know what I want. I was craving all kinds of things because I was so hungry. And then I started looking up Korean barbecue, and I was like, no, I got to wait for that. <laughs> I just ate a carne asada bowl. Mmm. What'd you have in this, Lopez? I had an iced vanilla latte from Starbucks. Mmm. That sounds good. Salad looks delicious. Thank you, Mandy. Oh my God, you're killing me. Smells I haven't eaten yet today. I'm carried away with cleaning and purging all these dang toys. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a salad now. Sorry, Des. I feel you, girl. I was like, what should I eat? And I seen this, this place is right by my house. And um, I was like, I want to eat something healthy, but I don't want to eat. Um, I didn't want no salad and go. I was like, nah, those are too basic. And then I was like, I don't know. I was like, this is the most healthy, healthiest place next to me. So I was like, I was like, I already have Panera bread. Mm. 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 I had lettuce, cheese, salsa, green onions. Ooh. It's too hot in South Carolina. How hot is it? Right now it's 100 degrees here in Arizona. Yes, Mandy. This, I don't know. Anything with cilantro, I think it gives it like a, a whole different flavor. I wonder, do you just tear off the tortilla as you go? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, don't tell me these people 
are going to park right next to me. That's from Panera. No, this is from Rio Cafe, Desi. Oops. Dang, 100. A cool salad is refreshing. Yes, I was even thinking about um some fruit. Something, because it's too hot over here. This person is going. This person right here is going around the circles, and it's, it's going to park right here. And I'm in the middle of nowhere in this big old parking lot. I don't know what they're doing. Thank you, C. Lopez. It's life, I guess. Just make what you can and pray. Everyone needs prayers and uplifting these days. Uh, B. Williams, I didn't think I seen your message, but whatever you're going through, I'm sorry. And prayers for you. Yes, I agree with you. Everybody needs prayers right now and and help in these times. These times is hard and crazy. I'm pretty sure. That, I wonder if this girl is going to eat too because she, she parked right across over there. Mandy. Same here. I love putting cilantro on everything. I did, Kimberly. I always lock my doors. That's one thing I do. The like button is a couple inches away. Hit it. Thank you so much, C. Lopez. Oh, thank you, Walter. I appreciate that $20 super chat. Much love and to you as well. Thank you so much, Walter. I appreciate it. And I hope your um, surgery goes well on Thursday. I'm not sure what it's for, but we all need prayers and we all need love and support and help. That's why I'm not even trying to stress right now either. I'm just leaving it in God's hands and I'm just like, you know, things that are I can't control and that's out of my control i'm just not gonna stress about it i'm gonna just do what i gotta do um i was thinking about hmm. i was thinking about doing doordash part-time in the nighttime or on the weekends whenever i can well, we gotta wait. Shoot. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Thank you guys for those who did stick around. Oh my goodness. I'm having technical difficulties. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let me figure something out real quick. I can't, y'all. I can't with myself. So I had my phone. Um, I'm gonna leave it right there. Hopefully it don't go hot again. So my phone got hot because I have it like near my window. I know. Just to hold it sideways, you know, cause if I don't hold it side, <laughs> if I don't have it sideways, let me see, hold on. Um. It like you can't see everything. Oh my gosh! I need my tray. Oh, my dust eating right here. I still have a lot left. I'm like, no, my video. Mm. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Thea. Love you, too. Mm. Oh, no. Okay, Walter. Hope everything is okay. You look beautiful at any angle, girl. No, it's because to get, like, the long ways to, to get, like, a video without having the little one, 
instead of up i have it sideways and if i put it like right here where i have my car my ac things it won't um get everything like my top of my head so so i had it like on my stand but like near the window and i guess the sun was hitting it so my phone overheated <laughs> And now I just put it somewhere else, but hopefully it don't get hot. Let's see if I can block it. Block that sun. That's how hot it is here, you guys. 100 degrees. Hey, what the streets created. Thank you, it is bomb. I already dug into it, but Mm. so you could piss piss you could get a piece of the tortilla and pick up your food if you had meat I don't have meat mm. this is so good and refreshing Happy Friday, Aries. That's all it looks so delicious. Oh, thank you so much, V. I really appreciate the super chat. I hope your day is good, too. And you have a good and fun, safe weekend. Thank you so much. I had good. I had a fun time last night on, um, on IG with everybody thank you girl I just woke up from a nap <laughs> lucky I just got off of work so Cafe Rio they have teas there and I got the um, hibiscus raspberry tea and i added a little bit of the cherry pump and a like two pumps of cherry and two pumps of the vanilla it's good man i need a bit what do you guys use when you're in your car like as far as a stand I'm gonna get a piece of this tortilla. Hold on one second. Have you made jalapeno stuff with cream cheese? I never made them before, but I'm craving them. Yes, girl. Those are like jalapeno poppers without without bacon. Last night's IG with the cousins was so fun. Y'all do y'all should do more more often. It was so entertaining. Yes, I'm. I want to. I love I love inviting my cousins. When I see them jump on, I like invite them to into the um, video because I think it's more fun, you know. Mm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think their tortillas are homemade. Oh no, Desi, I'm sorry to hear that. My condolences to you and your your friend. I hope um God gives you peace to go get through that because losing someone is never easy. But yeah, the life was so fun. I wanna start doing it more. Mm. When I can. Because, of course, I have to start saving up some money. Mm. You're alive. Sorry, I'm trying to scroll up to see. Was funny. I didn't want to log out, but everyone in the house was sleeping. Aww. 
Everybody in my house was sleeping too, but I went to the living room. <laughs> Hi again, how are you? Hey girl, I gotta go order our dinner. The kids need food. <laughs> Love the live. I'll watch the later. Rest later. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye, Mandy. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for stopping by and showing love. I will see you later. You're welcome, Desi. Ooh. Y'all, they serve you a lot. I'm about to start eating it like a, a Mexican dish with this tortilla. These tortillas are homemade. Mm. I need to put my other um thingy thingy phone phone holder up here so that way I don't have to do all that. Desi, that's why I was live last night, and I know you missed it, but um, we just found out that our landlord is going to sell our, the home that we're living in, that we've been in there for, th we've been there for three years. And um, we had tried to buy last year and the year prior, but everything was so crazy and um like we couldn't get a house because everybody was buying out right um we would go to a house and there would be 20 20 to 30 people looking at the house and we didn't get none of the ones that we put a bid in so we gave up and we're like well just wait and keep waiting well Instead of saving all the money like we should have, we we spent a little because I needed um like I needed a, a bed set like big time. I haven't bought one in a long time, so I need a new bed, bed set, and um a washer because my washer was messing up. And um so I spent a little bit. I still have um, some save that is for our house that we wanted to buy. Well, she just told us a couple days ago that they're going to put our house up for sale. And if we wanted to buy, um, to let her know and that we could be the first ones to try. And then if not, then they're going to put it on, a mar on the market if we didn't want it or it didn't go through. So I have to, I already reached out to the landlord and I'm waiting on a um, call back so that way we could set up an appointment so we could figure out like, you know, what, what are they asking for and stuff like that. Um, so I'm hoping that they're not ask, they're not going to ask for too much. Um, but if so, if we do get it, I have to save we got to save and save for the money that we spent um, to get the down payment and the closing costs and stuff like that. Mm. Ooh, did you? Let me know how you like it, Eriquita. <laughs> I think I follow Kai for on EG and everything posted. Always be looking bomb. For real, V. Yeah. Th no, they serve the salad with the tortilla under. It comes like that. And you could pick any uh, tortilla you like. If it's wheat or flour, corn, or no tortilla. But I needed that tortilla. <laughs> That just happened to my sister too, so she bought the place from her landlord. 
her mortgage is more than the rent she was paying so they're having to save to on budget yes desi right so the thing is with the landlord everybody's rent was going up right everybody like 1800 1900 or more like five four hundred dollars more i i heard a lot of um landlords were doing that to people well our landlord only had raised it up fifty dollars when my napkin oh which is not bad not bad at all so i'm hoping you don't have a high asking price but who knows what the market how it is right now you know we'll see i don't know most likely we'll probably get it if we get approved because i mean i don't know i don't know it's in the air i'm leaving it in god's hands i can't i'm not gonna stress about it i've learned over the years of my life that whatever i can't control at the moment i'm not gonna stress about it because and it's just, I'm going to just go with the flow and do what I got to do and do my part and that's it. Mm. I keep going with them. Camera's up. Yes, C. Lopez. Everybody stay strong and keep your head up and reach out if you need it. Family, whatever. Because um, it is hard times right now and everything is going up hi lena how are you yeah and then they only told us so our lease is up in september and she's like if you guys don't get we're posting up the for sale next month which is two weeks away so i'm like hey man let me scoop this up a little bit i was like i'm gonna pick up some extra ships or do something and get extra money because for like my wants you know or whatever needs mm. my apartments are getting expensive i want to move so bad but i have until next april oh i will be moving out they raised mine 300 wow you see a lot of places are like that there's people living in apartments and houses like mine that pay a lot more like 2400 2500 and i'm just glad that ours didn't go up that high her was 1350 and now her mortgage oh my goodness is 2500 but it's worth it to know it's yours yeah it's crazy man it is so crazy and they said um the interest the interest rates are just gonna keep going up and up so i don't know i think i'm gonna just we're just gonna try to get it yes girl i'm the same i try not to stress about things i can't control it really makes such a big difference yes it does we i used to stress so much about like little things and sometimes i mean you know it's bad enough i have to stress about my house being dirty when it gets dirty <laughs> but you know when it comes to things that like i i just we have no idea how it's gonna go or whatever like i just leave it up to god and that's it Wow, everybody's going through the same bull crap, and the only one making money is the people, the owners, or the whoever else. God got you. I will pay for you, girl. You're going to find something that's even better, or hopefully buy it. Thank you, Ariquita. I appreciate that, girl. I live in a studio and I'm paying. What? Oh no. Fourteen hundred studio. Oi. See, 
I just gotta be thankful for what we have. And I think it's just accepting the fact that everything's just going up now, you know? Hi, Julian. How come it's not letting me on? Prayers to you, C. Lopez. Hi, Catalina. My sister moved with my mom for a year so she could save to buy and still couldn't because how high the market has gone. Yes. They said, I mean, I've, I've been seeing some decreasing. Um, they've been decreasing their prices on the houses. But they said the interest is going to go up. So, I don't know. I don't know when's going to be the perfect time. Hola, como estas? Hola, friend. How are you? Of course, we see. I want you to taste it. Hi, mom. How are you feeling today? I live in a trailer, but my brother-in-law in my is my landlord. He doesn't charge us rent. I feel lucky for now, but grateful. Wow. Yeah, sweet Elizabeth. That's that's a blessing right there. That is a blessing right there because, girl, don't nobody, you know, want to help out make, what, living for free and stuff like that, you know, with no rent. That's a blessing. Yes, all the implantation is sad and very sickening. Yes, it is, Desi. And then they got to go for the, you know, formula. And what's going to be next? You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. I think we've become too dependent. I'm not even trying to hold my food up no more because I'm getting a workout. <laughs> A ver, pues. I'm eating uh, Cafe Rio Ma salad from there. It's really good. I see El Pato Enchilada Sauce on Amazon for $41. Oh, heck no. That's too much money. <laughs> uh uh. Girl, they used to be 59 cents or 50 cents here, and now they're a dollar. So, for. Uh, for a regular can, like you know, what is it like an eight ounce? Mm -mm, don't be paying that much. Yes, my mom's friend drove to four or five hours looking for a newborn special. Oh, my goodness, that's so sad. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Yeah, I'm full. I'm full, full. So this is how much I ate. Let me show you. But I've been eating that tortilla. That's the problem. So I put it all together because it was all full. I ate a good amount. I you know. Hi, Fran. How are you doing today? I will have to go looking for them at the Latin stores here. I'll find them. Yes, but you'll find them there at the Latin stores. Louise, excuse me. The formula issue is said to be solved in a few days, so hopefully that's true. I know a mom who could not produce their own milk due to medical reasons. I'm, I'd be going crazy trying to find formula. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy how some girls, you know, can't produce milk because, you know, something's up with their, with their body or whatever, like... 
that is so crazy because can you imagine back in the day how they did it like i mean pr i'm pretty sure we came a long t long way down the line to where we messed up our bodies somehow you know f not being able to produce naturally and stuff like that because back in the day imagine how they i mean i'm sure they did, i don't know if they had that issue i can't speak on it but that that was their only option you know what i'm saying that was their only option was to breastfeed so i wonder what they did yes prayers to all those baby those babies and the mamas that need that formula yes mom i'm ready for tomorrow i'm gonna be there early so be ready woman it's good to see you miha you're looking thin sure i wish i was thin thank you <laughs> I was looking at my life the other day and I'm like, dang, my arms are freaking big. What? For, I don't feel like they look that big when when I'm like, you know, but I was like, dang, I need to start working on my arms. You think they're trying to control it for women to breastfeed? That's what my mom said. I don't know, B. Williams. I have no idea, but I don't trust we depend too much that's all i gotta say we we depend we're too dependent on um society and everything else you know when we came a long way from being so dependent from back in the days to now you know depend depending on hold on y'all i gotta scroll up Bye, Kimberly. Thank you so much, love, for stopping by. God bless you. My daughter just ordered Mexican salad and I ordered tamales for dinner. Ooh, what kind of tamales did you order? I'll have to, to start super. Enjoy the rest of your awesome day. Oh, supper. Bye, sweet Elizabeth. Hope you have a good night. My daughter said hi. Her name is Lucy. She's watching with me. Hi, hi Lucy. I had to stop after nine months with youngest and later found out because she was lactose intolerant. Oh, wow. I breastfed my three kids, not fully. Um, I would do both because I, I worked right after, right? Right after I had to go back to work. So I did both. I used to take my breast pump to, to work and I would breast pump there and, you know, do all that extra stuff that you got to do but it's not easy and some people you know they just the pain at first i don't i think they can't i don't know if they can handle it or they don't like it or what i love i love breastfeeding though i that bond that you get with the with your baby is beautiful no it's the camera i promise <laughs> thank you sarah i appreciate that love It's the food water pollution that is destroying us. All these added chemicals and dyes they put in everything. Yes, Desi. Yep. That's exactly it, girl. Places like Africa and overseas. Only because I just love your energy and all your fam bam. Happy to see you. Thank you, Crystal. We love you too, girl. I was just talking to my mom yesterday. There was no formula. I was looking to help her, but no luck doctor told her to drink beer he, can you believe that to loosen up the flow because her baby would get drunk as well <laughs> this world is scary but pray for this the mamas yes only only breastfed one of four i loved it like you said the bond it's like climbing a mountain and reaching to the top my daughter just ordered Mexican. Shoot, sorry. Oh, bye, C. Lopez. See you later. Tell the little one I said hi. But yeah, like I was saying, sorry, y'all. 
I'm telling you, I can never be normal. <laughs> I can never be normal. Um, so, like I was saying, the bond that you get when you breastfeed is, I, like, it's something that you, I don't know. It's just a feeling, you know, that, I don't know, I can't explain it. But if you breastfed before and you know what I'm talking about, then that's what I'm talking about. Sorry, y'all. My phone was freezing um, hot because I have it by the wind. I had it by the window out right here on top where the sun's at, kind of. So it was like, I'm trying to. It was um overheating. <laughs> it's all good. Or is your phone heat up? <laughs> yeah. All right, Sarah. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you um, next time. Shoot, this is how I'm going to lose my arm fat. Holding up the camera. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was really, really good. I like the tea that they have. Hi, Nelita. How are you? Yeah, I did, V. I, I said thank you. I don't know if I froze up or what, but um, I had told her thank you. That would be too much, like, right? What's a normal these days? <laughs> For real, V. Williams. I can't. I was like, can I just have a normal day? Like, a normal recording? Uh, anything, please? I wish I would be done with my other three. I wish I would be done with my other three. Um, B. Williams, what do you mean? Sorry, I don't understand. I'm about to tone my arms right now, y'all. My arms are about to be swole. <laughs> She sent it when it froze on my end. Yeah, I know. I seen that when I came back. I was like, oh. The camera adds pounds. It ain't you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to think. I'm going to go ahead and go with that. With that phrase then. Because sometimes I swear I'd be looking good. But I know that, you know, I have my arms are flabby. But, and then I'll be like, and they look normal and a little chubby, you know, chunky, because I ain't skinny. But then I'm like, dang. Then when I seen the video, I was like, dang, my arms are big. I'm, I'm big. Super busy day. That's why I got late for your videos. Oh, it's okay, Nalita. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I don't know. I wanted to save it, but then I don't know because I already, it already froze two times and I don't know. I don't know if I want to post that. No. How old is the baby? That's going to be my dinner and the leftovers. Oh yeah, I got to put the top on it. Ooh. Y'all, I'm a whole mess right now. Look at my nails. I'm missing a nail and I got to, oh, you know. B. Williams, oh, well, at least she's up now and won't be up all night. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't even know what I, I mean. I know we we're talking about breastfeeding and stuff. How do we go from 
my house thing to breastfeeding. <laughs> Well, y'all, I'm done. Um, I'm done. I already, I, I'm full. And um, it was nice chit-chatting with y'all. For the race, just that it looks fire. Oh, you're welcome, Nelita. I hope you try it. So yeah, I'm full, and I'm um, I'm done. Um, busy weekend with the game. Yeah, we have championship games tomorrow. To um, by the way, yeah. Um, my son Dino, he made it. They made it to the championships. <laughs> and um, he made it to the championship. So we're gonna be there tomorrow in the after in the evening. But tomorrow morning and afternoon, I'm gonna be with my grandma for her birthday. Um, nobody else is going to any games or anything after this once they win that's it for the summer i get a break that's how i'm probably gonna do start doing doordash or something i don't know something it's time to i need to save and i need to pack and clean and all that stuff i'm hoping that the i'm hoping that um the appointment that I have with the homeowner goes good and everything goes good so I don't have to do all that. The struggle is into this world, I guess. Right. Have a good night. Yes, we're gonna go to Nana's tomorrow. How do you maybe figure out? Yes, let me know too. Thank you, B. Williams. Yep, so we got a busy day tomorrow. So I'll see you guys. I'm going to try to go more live on um, IG here and there to interact with you guys. And, you know, because I'm going to be solo, you know. I'm, I'm going to be solo most of the nights. Sometimes, you know, Manny's gone, so... I'm like, I need to find something to do because I'll be up just by myself on my me time. I'll still watch every ad. Hope that helps. Oh, thank you, B. Williams. Thank you, Desi. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining and your support. I love you guys. I will see you guys on the next video. I will see if I'm going to leave this up because, yeah, I done did all kinds of stuff in here. But um, I will see you guys until next time.